The first question asks us to verify the adequacy of beam B2 for bending and deflection. So generally, it's a good idea to form mental picture in your mind the steps you will have to take in order to derive the answer. And we're going to call it the strategy in this presentation. To determine the adequacy of a beam, we'll have to know its capacity and the demand. So our strategy will be to first determine the moment capacity. Now, as you'll see in the next slide, beam B2 actually consists of a cantilever. So in that case, we should figure out the capacity for both positive moment and negative moment. And then we'll go ahead and determine the demand, which also consists of both positive and negative. Finally, we will calculate the maximum deflection due to the apply loads. All right, here is the framing plan again. And here is beam B2 that we're checking. The beam size is W14 by 26. And as you can see on the left, based on the spacing, the tributary width for this beam is 8 feet. On the top, the beam length is 10 feet at the cantilever and 24 feet at the back spin. To determine the moment capacity, we need to grab some beam section properties from AISC manual table 1-1. And here's what we got for W14 by 26. 